Hello students. Now we are going to discuss the uh, chem strip dipstick or what we call urine tops. As you know, first thing we need to do is to put on our gloves. Anytime we're uh, dealing with body fluids, we do wear gloves and our lab coat. We have a urine here. Whenever we do a urine, we always want to make sure we mix it and that it is at room temperature. The first thing I want to do is observe the urine for color and clarity. I look at this urine and I would call this urine yellow. So I would write down yellow. Then I would look at it for clarity, and the way we look for clarity is we see if we can see the lines through it, how well we can see the printing through the uh, tube. And this was what I would consider hazy. So I would write down hazy. At this point in time, we would do the refractometer, the procedure that you did uh, last week. Then after the refractometer and you write down the specific gravity, you would take your chem strips. Now your chem strips come in a container. On the back of the container you can see that there is a color code and how you read each strip, the colors that you're looking for, and how to report them. Now I have given you a sheet that tells you how I want them reported in this lab. All labs may be different, protocol at different laboratories may be different, but in this lab you will find online a sheet that tells you how to report your urine dipsticks. You always want to make sure you have your, uh, your patient's um, requisition so that you can record your results as soon as you read them. Now when you are ready to read, you would remove the top of the container, remove the dip stick, the chem strip, put the top back on the container because the, contain the uh, dip sticks do have chemicals on them and they will absorb water and give erroneous results. When we, when we read the dipstick, remember we never want to touch the chemical sticks or the chemical squares because they do have chemicals on them and you'll disturb them. So let's dip and then I'll show you how to read. All of the um, chem strip, all of the different pads are read at different times. So before you dip, be familiar with the time that you're supposed to read each of these. So let's take the urine into the urine and straight out. Don't tarry. If you leave that uh, strip in too long, you'll end up with chemical soup because the, chemis the chemicals will come off of the strips. Now, when I'm ready to read, I will line this up because up at the top it says strip handle. I line the strip handle up and then line up each chemical strip and I read by comparing color. On this one, I, 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 it does have a specific gravity, but since I do specific gravity with the refractometer, I will ignore the specific gravity. The second one is the pH. Well, I match the pH color, and in this case, the pH is nine. So I want to write down nine. I can't read the leukocyte for two minutes, so I want to go to the next uh, one down, and I will read these all at their appointed times. If we come down to glucose, I have to wait 60 seconds. I use the clock on the wall in here to time my specimens, and at 60 seconds, I can see that glucose will be reading a Oh, it will be reading a 3 plus. So I will write down my results for my glucose here. Then I can see that the rest of them are fall within normal range. There's no blood, there's everything else is normal or negative. I can then throw the chem strip away and I am completed with a chemical analysis of the urine.